Hi, this is Kim Wood and I'm at the corner of Highland Avenue and Harrison Street in Oak Park, Illinois, where we've got a great little art shop here. The artist's name is Steve. He's at 301 Harrison Avenue. So let's go in and take a little hi. My name is Steve Fisher, um, painter, printmaker, um, studied at the American Academy of Art in Chicago. Uh, basically that's my education as such. Um, and I have a studio here in uh, Oak Park on Harrison Street, 301 Harrison Street, which I'm mostly doing my paintings in. Do my pr printmaking elsewhere, but um, and um, what exactly is pr our prints? Well, they could be in this day and age, they could be digital or this day and the other thing. But what we do are uh, etchings, mono prints, uh, dry points, uh, some lithographs, um, relief prints, whether they're. Uh, wood cuts or linoleum cuts and um and i do that at a place down the block here 29 harrison called expressions graphics okay so you know we'll see what happens yeah you know it's something will happen for sure uh -huh. i don't like to get too uh Free and experimental. I usually stay pretty close to my source. My source is another print that I have. Oh, okay. But because of the nature of those prints are so fragmented, I I I can feel free to add in color that I you know if I was doing a CC and if I was doing a portrait or something mm -hmm. that I, I normally wouldn't wouldn't do you know. Mm -hmm. And then. I can let some of that, uh, you know, I can leave some of it or take some of it away, you know, if it's necessary. Right. It's kind of like uh, what um, Paul McCartney had a saying when he was painting. He, uh, he used to call it killing the canvas. You had told me before that you knew at an early age that you gravitated to art. Yeah, yeah. it's like all kids. All you kids? Know. Yeah. You think when we're young, we want we already know what we want to do? Uh, well, yeah, a lot of kids. Hey, let me tell you something. The uh, Yeah, I, I uh, ever since grade school, whatever, I always did artwork and that type of thing. And the kids in my school, you know, I was the kid who compulsively did, you know, cartoons of everybody and whatnot. But... Um, you know, I have kids in my class, you know what I mean? The, the kids are so more sophisticated as the, in techniques and materials than uh, than they ever were. You know what I mean? Back when I was going to school, they didn't have uh, access to oil paints and and even the the, uh, the wherewithal to, uh, to use them. I think art was more looked at, except for a few teachers you get in grade school, was looked at as kind of a... A free period where you do some crafty crap, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, and you know what? Whether you were talented or not, that kind of diminishes the um, kind of the importance or what could be brought into it, you know what I mean? It's, I mean, it's on a lesser field than playing, uh, kicking a ball around a field, you know what I'm saying? So, this is the, the the problem. The kids are very talented out there, but a, a lot of them don't go into uh, traditional artwork anymore. They go into something, you know, uh, graphic and a computer and this, that, and the other thing. So if you're in the area, make sure you stop in and see Steve. If you're lucky, you may even get to see him painting in his pirate hat. <laughs>